All right, Pistons fans, so in today's video, we are going to be talking about Frank Jackson and Hamidou Diallo. The day has finally come. The time has finally come. We are finally here, man. The contracts have been extended to Frank Jackson and Hamidou Diallo. Let's get into this, man. So reportedly today by The Athletic, James Edwards, and multiple sources, the Detroit Pistons have officially offered the RFA qualifying offers to Frank Jackson and Hamidou Diallo. Now the projected numbers, we don't know the official numbers, but the projected numbers for Diallo is around $2.1 million. That's how much is being offered to him right now with the RFA qualifying offer. And then for Frank Jackson, it's projected to be around $1.7 million. So let's talk about Frank Jackson first. So Frank Jackson, he has been in Detroit all summer. I've seen multiple clips of workout videos. I've seen multiple images. Frank Jackson has been in Detroit the entire summer. He's been working out with Killian Hayes, Sadiq Bay, Isaiah Stewart. He's been here with all of the young guys just working and training in Detroit. He had a successful season last year with the Detroit Pistons. He showed a lot to me as a player who can play the one or the two, someone who can create his own shot, a good three-point shooter, someone with a nice handle. I really did like what I seen out of Frank Jackson. And I believe that Frank Jackson will accept the, the $1.7 million deal. And even if he gets offered another deal by another team, I believe the Pistons will match that offer and keep Frank Jackson. So in my opinion, I think the most likely scenario, Frank, I'm quite certain that Frank Jackson will be a Detroit Piston next year. Now, Hamadou Diallo, this is the one that's interesting and throwing me for a loop, man. Diallo, the ball is in your court, bro. We traded for you. We gave us Svima Kailuk. You came to the Detroit Pistons this year and you played a heck of a season, man. In the time that you were here, you had a few games where you came out of nowhere and got 20, 30 points, just straight aggression, straight athleticism. You know, getting past his defenders and driving to the hole. Hamadou Diallo has massive potential and he had a pretty good year last year. So Diallo, the ball is in your court, man. You have two options here. You can either stay with the Detroit Pistons or you can get paid and go get a lot of money from another team. Now, the thing that's scaring me about Diallo, I hope, I just hope that another team doesn't offer him a massive contract. And what I mean by massive, I don't mean anything crazy like 15 or $20 million. I'm saying a contract like if a team offers him around 10 plus million dollars per year, that's gonna be a big concern for me because if you guys watch my salary cap video, the Pistons don't have much money to spend because of the Blake Griffin contract. We're still paying that off. So we don't have much money and much wiggle room here. So if Diallo gets offered like $10 million per year, we are basically screwed because we won't really be able to match that offer. So I'm hoping that Diallo just accepts this $2.1 million per year deal, but I don't know, man, because yes, he sees that the Detroit Pistons are a young rebuilding team with a bright future, but, but if another team offers him the back, he's probably gonna try to take that offer up, man, because you gotta think about it. Would you, if you were a player and you were on a team like the Pistons and another team offers you $10 million and you could stay on the Pistons for $2 million, which one would you choose? You're probably taking the $10 million per year. You can never blame an athlete for wanting to chase after the money and go get paid for another team. I can't really blame Diallo for that. I'm just hoping that he decides to stay with the Pistons so we don't have to try to match the offer. Because if we try to match the offer for Diallo, it's gonna be around eight, ten million dollars per year. And if we do that, we're probably gonna end up losing Frank Jackson. Because again, the money situation is really, really tight. With Kay Cunningham coming, he's gonna be getting paid around nine or ten million dollars per year because of the rookie deal. With the guys in the second round, they're gonna get around the minimum, which is around eight, nine hundred to a million dollars per season. So that money is also gonna be in factor as well. So we're gonna have like around $10 million to try to make this work out. And if Frank Jackson wants around four, $3 million per year, that's cool. But if Diallo wants $10 million per year or more than that, that's gonna be the big concern for me, man. Cause it's just simple numbers. If Diallo wants 10, Frank wants four, but we only have $10 million, the money just does not add up, man. So my biggest hope is that with this offer being extended to the Hamadou Diallo, he just accepts it and stays with the Pistons. I hope Frank Jackson just accepts it and comes back to the Pistons. I hope they just decide not to listen to any more offers and just decide to come back to Detroit, man. We are a young rebuilding team. If they stay on the Pistons in the coming years, we will be so successful with these guys, man. When I look at a team like the Atlanta Hawks, who recently had much success and made it to the Eastern Conference finals when i see trey young you know going into his third year in the nba and can make it to the third to the third round of the playoffs the eastern conference finals when i see that with this pistons team in a few years three years down the line from now i could easily see the pistons getting there man but we need to keep guys like frank jackson and diallo so i'm just hoping that they stay here on the pistons what we're trying to do here but at the same time i can completely understand if they end up wanting to chase the money and leave somewhere else and we probably won't be able to match the offers especially if it's around 10 plus million dollars per year so pistons fans let me know any and all thoughts in the comment section below like this video comment on this video share this video thank y'all for 2k and i'm out